Thanks, Dana. I absolutely love this time of year. It must be because I'm a bit of a glitz and glam type of girl. And what better way to get into the mood than with some fantastic decor? That's why we're here at Corey Christopher's studio. This is our designer extraordinaire, Corey, and you're gonna talk about some really interesting tips and tricks people can do to enhance decor in their home, especially if they're hosting a New Year's Eve party. So let's start with the all important centerpiece, shall we? Well, I think the centerpiece is where you can really make a statement. If you don't you have a lot of time to do anything else, I would say, focus on that centerpiece and create something that's absolutely stunning. So what we've actually done here is we're playing with that glitz and glamour that you absolutely love. So we've actually taken a light up wreath and we can see it's very a little more modern, a little more industrial. We've clustered balls and you know just to get that great holiday season color and then we've actually added in more ball garland. So I'm trying to keep silver as our main theme. Yeah. So all you got to do into this vase is we're just going to take our ball garland and work it in a little bit like so. So we're filling it up. It looks like it's exploding with the balls. Now, if silver is not your favorite color, or if you don't, let's say you want to add teal and you just have the silver balls, what I've done is I've just picked up a couple smaller little balls that we can pop in really easily to add in a little pop of color. But of course, New Year's for me is all about silver, black, gold, really celebrating the season. So I really say take some time on your centerpiece and it's gonna reward you for your entire party. It's time you party. It's time you party. party. It's time you party. It's time you party. Great stuff. Now, Corey, what if you're having a snack bar and you want to jazz it up for your guests? It's a pretty popular spot in the home. Well, it really is. And you know what we've actually done here is created a nut bar. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we're playing with I'm the idea of. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're playing with the idea of having, you know, nuts during the season. It's something that everyone loves to get up and crack a nut or two. Yeah. So, what I really thought is jazzing it up, though. So, we've taken what, like, nuts being very rustic, mm -hmm. added this jazzy garland, you know, playing with the glitz again. You know, I really love to vamp it up. Mm -hmm. But using black, which is a little unexpected. Interesting. You know, but these are great deer, so it's not as Christmassy. We've spray painted some pine cones with black spray paint. Yes. And you know, something else you can easily do is grab a candlestick or two in our silver colors and easily pop a ball on top. Look at how fun that is. So really getting some different heights and some different levels and pulling it all together to make that snack bar look sensational this holiday season. All full. This is such great stuff, but before we wrap up today, Corey, one thing we need to talk about is if you are a guest attending a soiree for New Year's Eve, and you're gonna bring that bottle of wine, what can you do to jazz that up so it's not so boring? Well, I love bringing something else, yes. right? You know, so you just don't want them to remember you for this bottle of wine. You want something that they can enjoy for longer. So, you know, wine connoisseurs love their wine glasses. Mm -hmm. And so I thought, why don't we use the wine glass as a little vessel to create a little arrangement? So what we're actually gonna do is take some pieces of cedar like this, and all we're gonna do is give it a little cut there, like so, pop it into our wine glass. This is really easy and simple. So You're reminding you... me of Mr. Bean from that <laughs> holiday movie where he's just like a little sprinkle of this and something yeah, exactly. of that. Pop in, your, we're using just polished gravel rocks. Okay. Pop those in. And then we're taking my favorite thing this time of year, which is a paper white bulb. It's part of the Narcissus family. Mm -hmm. It will grow up about this tall with little white flowers. So if you start this now, it'll be just ready to bloom when you're headed to that party. Right. So we pop that inside. What we do is we add just a touch of water to the very base of the ball. And then for a little bit of glitz, we have these fantastic magnetic snowflakes to pop on the front. I love how it's spun right on camera. <laughs> that is so cool. So you know what? You take two of these, wrap them up, bring it with your bottle of wine, and I am sure those hostesses are gonna remember that you brought something amazing. You know what, Corey, you are amazing. Thank you so much for letting us come and hang out in this gorgeous studio, and thank you for all the tips and tricks. We really appreciate it. Well, happy New Year's to everyone out there. Yes, happy New Year's to you. Back to you, Dana.